Hello, this is Sean Cavan with Cisco Systems. I'm going to do a really brief tutorial on setting up networking on a VMware ESXi node, specifically for our Cisco network registrar, but you could use it for additional virtual machines as well. Basically, there's two ways to set up network on an ESXi node. You can have a dedicated NIC per virtual machine. So that meaning if I had four virtual machines, I would need five NICs. One NIC per virtual machine plus one NIC for the management of the ESXi hypervisor itself. The other way is to actually do a dot one q trunk to a switch. This is a lot more scalable because now you're only limited by the physical ports on switches in your network rather than the actual NICs on your blade server. The Cisco UCSC series that I'm using, there's actually three dedicated NICs. There's one that can't be seen by the ESXi software. This is for the CIMC, the Cisco Integrated Management Controller. It's just an IP KVM. It allows me to have all of the features of a KVM via web browser. The other two NICs here can be seen by the ESXi hypervisor. The first NIC I'm going to use for a dedicated management of the hypervisor software, and the second NIC I'm going to create a dot one q trunk back to a switch so I can scale up and have a lot of virtual machines since I only have three NICs here. I've already connected using vSphere client to my particular node, and I'm just going to show you how to set up networking real quick. You're going to click on that your node, you're going to click on configuration, you're going to click on networking, it's already selected from last time, and you're going to see that the Cisco network registrar, the virtual machine that I've already set up, is running and is connected to VM NIC 0. I want to hook that up to VM NIC 1. Uh, yeah, VM NIC 1. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click add networking, I'm going to click virtual machine, I'm going to click next, it already selects VM NIC 1, which isn't connected to anything right now. And then this is where I would tag it. I'm just going to name it something. This, this network label doesn't matter. It's just for the ESXi software. I call it my internal lab network. And right now I'm not going to tag it. That's just because I need to figure out what VLAN I want to do testing on. But this is where you would tag it. You just type in the number of the VLAN. You can also say all VLANs, but it doesn't really make sense unless you're sending all traffic over. I'm going to click next on zero and I'm going to click finish. You'll see that I have a vSwitch 1 now and a vSwitch 0. So how do I get that Cisco network registered now to use that lab network? I'm going to click the plus sign here which would show all my VMs. I only have one right now. I'm going to right click on him and click edit settings. He's going to pop up with all of his settings including RAM, CPUs, video card, hard disks. And I'm going to click on the network adapter and under here, under Network Connection, Network Label, I'm going to scroll down and then I can click on that lab network. This will assign them there. This is also like if that lab network had a VLAN, it would start tagging all the traffic. You don't have to restart your box to start seeing that NIC. It's automatically going to start using that right away. The only time you would have to restart is if you're adding multiple connections. If your virtual machine had like three NIC connections. Now if I wanted to actually add more, you just go to add networking and you can keep using VM NIC 1, but each time you're going to decide what VLAN you want to put it on. So you're going to click NIC 1 and then you're going to tag it here. I can do like 10 just to show you how it would work. And you're going to click finish. And you'll see that there's a second VM network 2. I could have named it something else and then I'm tagging it. So if you had a trunk to VM NIC 1 from a switch, it's just going to have all these little tags coming in and then you can do a switch port mode access on your switch and you can access that virtual machine from another device. Now to actually set up networking on the Cisco Network Registrar, I'm going to go ahead and go to the console. I'm going to click Configure Network. I'm going to say, um, no, I don't want to do DHCP. I already have the IP address plugged in from last time, so I'm just going to accept, 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 accept accept and say yes this is what I want and now I'm going to pull up this guy in a web browser and it works I'm already logged in and that was a brief tutorial very very brief I'm going to put below in the comments a small uh, a link to uh, 
to how to set up the CIMC for a Cisco device. And if you have any questions, just post them below and I'll try to put links to how to do more advanced steps. Thank you very much.